Welcome, nerd herders, to the very first episode, on YouTube anyway, of Sims 4. And, of course, as you guys know, the uh, Dis Discovery University just got released this morning, or, well, last night at midnight, and I thought I'd go ahead and start a new character up and, and you know, have some fun with it, and, you know, just, let's just do it. How about that? So, I want you to meet Natalie. This is Natalie Bishop. Uh, Natalie is wants to go to college. Uh, let's get into the story and uh, so you can learn a little bit more about her. Uh, she currently lives in Solani. She wanted to go there to kind of get away from the whole world. and uh, She's a writer. And uh, she, also, she's a very romantic person. And so, therefore... Uh, we can see here that she is a beat reporter right now. Uh, and she needs to reach level three in writing and and continue on in her writing career and write a column, and so. But really, you know, she's she's a serial romantic. You know, she she loves love. That's that's basically the way it is. She loves love, and um, she also has skills in mischief and writing already. So that's that's a, a positive. She she gets a little mischief once in a while, but she's always wondered with her job. You know, is there any more? Is there anything else? And so she's contemplated lately going to, you know, university and bettering herself and getting a new education. But she's also considering going into something else other than writing. But for now, you know, it'll do. It'll do. So um, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started with her, shall we? Um, what we are going to do is we she does not own a computer. She always goes to the library and uh and visits there to use the computer so that's what the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go to the library and we're going to use the one that's in willow creek because this is where she grew up this is where her parents um used to live uh they've since moved away but uh this is she knows this area and she knows it really well so she we're going to go to the library and she's going to go ahead and apply now for college to get that out of the way She's also going to do some research on scholarships, and she's going to research the colleges because she's, from what she's hearing from her friends, she is very, very um, open to to one of the universities. And so she wants to go to Foxbury. Um, she's a very intelligent woman. She's, she's lived on her own uh, since she was actually 16 years old. Um, she chose to leave the house early and, and get a job. She graduated early. And so she's very, very intelligent, very uh, fun to be around, and, and loves talking to people. So, so yes. Um, <clears throat> she, she's very friendly, too. She meets a lot of people. Foxbury Institute, consistently uh, rated as premier university, Foxbury Institute boasts a modern campus with impressive facilities and a broad swath of alumni who have emerged as innovative leaders in their respective fields. The university is always looking for students who dare to dream big. Um, they, all, they have the Foxbury Spirit Squad, the Brainiacs, and the Bot Savants. And uh, she actually, she the, her degrees... Well, the degree she's looking at possibly is computer science because she already knows how to write, but if she could use that to more work on computers and programs and stuff, she thinks that would be a better fit for her. She just she's always felt like there's you know that there's there's been more that she wants. And so that's what she's ultimately looking to get into is is computer science and she's hoping she can get approved. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, have her apply for university because why not, right? <laughs> we might as well apply because you don't know until you apply. And then once she does that, she needs to go ahead and, and research some scholarships. And um, she's going to review the, the scholarship info packets. And then she's going to go ahead and apply for scholarships. All right, her application's on the way. We'll know in a couple days. She absolutely loves this community. That's why she comes back. And so, yeah. Know your scholarships. 
Uh, distinguished scholarships. Sims who have been accepted into distinguished degree programs will automatically receive scholarships with an amount based on how many distinguished degrees they've gotten into. Working on a Sims grades before applying can lead to more degree acceptances and in turn more scholarship money. Sims who have developed any number of practical skills are eligible to apply for variety skill-based scholarships. Those hours spent on cooking, fishing, handiness, and many others can turn into scholarship funds. However, these scholarships are targeted at younger students and so are not available for adult or elder Sims. Well, she's a young adult, so... <clears throat> and then there's sports and esports scholarships. That really doesn't apply to her. Uh, Need-based... Well, she is a little broke right now, um, so <laughs> that might be an option. A career scholarship, she can also get a career scholarship based off her writing career, so that's a good thing. And then resident grants, she can get resi uh, for each town that you live in, you can get a resident grant, and she's going to apply for one of those as well. So we'll see what all she could do. All right, so here we go. We could get a workplace scholar, an education for all, or a Solani resident. So Sims who have shown success in a career can apply for a career force scholarship not available for adult or elder Sims. So we're going to do that one first. Um, then we're going to go, we're going to apply for all of them actually. And just to see what we get. You never know, you know, you always want to apply for all of them, even if they don't all come in. Uh, we'll do the education for all. That just means that, you know, she's doing good. Okay. And then... <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and apply for the Solani one, too. And that way, hopefully we're covered, you know? Alright. Um... Then we're going to go in here and prank this toilet. I told you, she's a little mischief. She has a, she has a dark bit of a dark side, too. And she's hoping to develop that eventually, as well. That is the university... Okay, yeah. I saw that. Next few days, yep. So we'll, we'll be able to find out whether or not she's accepted in the next few days. Uh, until then, we need to start reading. So let's get her... Let's get her cooking skill up. She has not been the best cook, okay? So you have to forgive her for that. But she's she's great overall. Like, she's she's good, you know? Uh, she does need to work on her cooking skills, though. They are, they're a little, little misguided at the moment. So... Uh oh, there she goes. <laughs> she is so mischievous. <clears throat> but you know, when you when you have a lot of uh, smarts and stuff, and you get bored once in a while of, of doing your work and stuff, you gotta have a little fun and let go. And so. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't think we can send a text yet because we don't know anybody as yet. Uh, nope. Okay, who's... She's an adult. She's a librarian, so we could do a friendly introduction. <clears throat> Get to know the librarian again. She's a new librarian. She wasn't here last time we were here, so... Yeah. She's learning her cooking skill? Yep, she's acquired her cooking skill. Two days ago, she has reached max level in comedy. And unlocked a new plant type for grafting. What? I didn't know she knew... Oh, whoops. No relationships. Okay, that must be a glitch or something. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Alright. Let's see what else. She needs to go talk to the librarian, get to know somebody. That way next time we have us send a happy text. She can do that. And then she probably needs to get to work to writing. There we go. Write. Um, write a column. I think that's one of her aspiration things, too. I uh, know. Her work things. Write a column. Yeah. Get started. Right. And she goes to work in 23 hours, so we have a day to get her all prepared for 
her next day on the job. <coughs> she's really excited about going to college, though. She, uh, uh, she's already told them that she's trying to apply, and, and we're hoping that the, the her company will help her. So. Okay, so she can. Finia Payfim, Scoopa, Batanabi, Wabarani Zimze, Bayumi, Joss Boxing, Sheshere, Binkapa Baru, Sigluna Payoon, Shabini. She's on the road to fame. Alright, so. Swabi, Sigluna Vool, Fifanje Yitka. <clears throat> Ebony Flurva, Nisoda Saburano, <laughs> Clevite Bors, Arvini, Bouchard Kumiao. Uh, ask about favorite author. There we go. She needs to write her column. It's not done yet. Oh, she's seventy-five percent done. <clears throat> so that's good. Oh, there's uh there's Cassandra. Hmm. Alright, what time does she go to work? Ten AM to five PM. Twenty two hours. Look at that. She is so magical. All right. Uh, call someone happy on the phone. Okay. Let's see here. Can we call anybody? Um, I thought it was here. Maybe not. Let's go to relationships. Oh, nope. Okay, so we can't do anything because she's right there probably. Uh, let's get to know who this is. Friendly, uh, funny introduction. Yeah, she's mischievous, so we'll go ahead and do a funny introduction. Oh goodness! Look at the toilet. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> oh, she just left, or he just left. Uh, friendly introduction. <laughs> All right. She got her column complete. Let's see, what else do we need here? She's doing social. She's having fun. Alright, let's uh, let's keep reading the, the cookbook. We need to start developing relationships, so... Alright, who's this? Uh, let's make a friendly introduction. There we go. That's why she's getting her contacts underway. Networking, okay? She's got a network. Let's have her. They're discussing the authors and latest books she's read. So look at the look at this. They're all they're all coming and yeah. Charisma. All right. Because she's a writer, she's very social too. She likes to learn about everybody, and it gives her ideas on on what to write about and stuff. So. Ask her about her favorite author. She wants to know, you know. <laughs> Let's find out what all of them do. They, 
She's becoming good friends with him. Okay. High school student. All right. Oh, okay. Make is a blogger at Walrus Books. And Ellie's on Harmony as a stay-at-home mom. Aww. She finally went to go get her book. <laughs> uh, ask about day. <laughs> she is fit. Look at that. And a library, too. Like, that is great. <clears throat> All right, she's getting hungry, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put the book down and actually go try some of this uh, cooking. <laughs> Can't be that bad, right? Oh, something happened out here. All right, she's gonna go home now. All right, there we go. She's gonna go home. She has to eat, <clears throat> and she has how much? Nineteen hours. She's got to be working nineteen hours, so she's got to be ready to go and, and prepared, and so. All right. So this is her cozy little home. Like I said, it's her it's her home away from home because she likes to she likes to write and she needs a, a good atmosphere to do that in. So uh, she's gonna make a grilled cheese. She likes grilled cheese. Simple meal, I know, right? <clears throat> when she earns a little bit more money, she was planning on saving up and buying a, a computer and a desk. So. <clears throat> Uh, we do need to get a bookshelf in here, though. I don't think, I don't think she has quite enough, does she? Let me find out here. That's fine. Oh yeah, she can get one. Okay. Uh, the tasty. Uh, let's see. The Enigma. <clears throat> so this one gives you environment as well. Let's do... She's thinking about her future, so let's do that. Uh, we're going to need to... There we go. <clears throat> Alright. So. Yeah, she... This lot has some good traits on it, so this is... Uh... Oh. Oops. Helps her cook, helps her write. There we go. And she just moved out here not too long ago, so it's uh it's it's kinda new to her. Like, you know, she's not used to the whole island living situation. Um 
It does help her write, though. It, it's She sits and writes all the time. In fact, she, we need to get her her journal. And, uh... I don't think she has her journal yet. Uh, I think she lost it in the move, so... Let's see if we can get her another one. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> we'll find it though. Um, private journal, there it is. There we go. There we go. Now she can write in her journal. <clears throat> After she gets done eating, she'll write in her journal. Uh, she just loves writing. She really does, but she just wants something more, you know? You ever, you ever have that feeling where it's like, you know, I want more. I'm good at this, but I want more. There we go. She tries to be a very tidy person. Uh, for the most part, she is. But, uh, uh, send happy text. She might work from home, too. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, send... Oh. View a piece of art. She's inspired right now. <laughs> she doesn't even have a piece of art right now. <laughs> Summer season has to do something romantic. Yeah, she needs to. She needs to find somebody that she can really talk to and visit with. <clears throat> uh, <huh. laughs> oh, she's writing about her uh, encounter with a ghost. She uh, she was touring another city. And uh, she had an encounter with a ghost in an old, old abandoned hotel. Um, yeah, she was, she was pretty freaked out at first. But then she found out that the ghost was approachable and didn't want to do her any harm. So, <clears throat> All right. All right, so we need to get our daily exercising in. So let's, uh, let's have her go for a jog. That is not her fitness outfit. Hold on. I, I don't think she... Yeah, there we go. That's her fitness outfit. There we go. Alright, so she's going to go for a short jog real quick. And I'm going to turn off my notifications because they're going to start... Yeah. I got him just in time! <laughs> So this is the very first episode of um, my Sims channel, and I hope you like it, a Geek Tech Simulator. We will be playing mostly Sims 4, but we'll also play some other Sims games as well. Uh, there are other ones to, that we are going to be playing. Uh, so don't think that this is the only one, but this is going to be the primary one because I do love Sims and I hope to get the rest of the game packs and stuff packs I don't have. I also do use mods and CC, so stay tuned for that. I don't have them in right now because of course the update just came out and I have no clue what's working, what's not. And until I actually have a chance to go through and make sure everything's working that should be, yeah, so <laughs> I want to make sure we can, we can do that first and uh, by the way, this episode, if you're still watching, is probably going to be about an hour long, because, you know, we're going to get through 
a little while. From uh, at th after this point, I think we're gonna what we're gonna do is like make each episode a day in her life, and I think that that would be a good way to do it. Because uh, I'm not quite sure how long a day lasts, but I know it's, uh, you know, it's, it would probably be a good time for an episode. So, uh, I'm not that great at storytelling yet, so I'm working on that. So, if you guys will bear with me. If you guys want to give me any ideas or anything in the comments, I greatly would appreciate it. But I really want to develop stories with my characters and, and, and help you guys interact with them and and feel like you're a part of their lives, because that's what I want out of this, is I want to be uh, where you guys are really, you know, uh, I, I don't know, for lack of a better word, I guess you guys are really involved with their lives. And so, and there'll be times when I'll have you guys make choices for me, because I'm going to be scattering it out, like, for example, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be my vanilla playthrough with no mods, Okay. And so that'll be like her. So, you know, she's going to be a vanilla playthrough. Then on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, it'll be a modded playthrough. And so you'll have a day in between episodes to kind of tell me if I give you guys an option of what, hey, you know, you guys get to choose what, what path she takes now or where she what she does now. Then, you know. All right. She probably needs to go home and take a shower. So we'll start heading back home. It's always good to, to do that. <clears throat> she loves her bubble baths, but she doesn't have a, um, I, I, I don't believe she has a bathtub yet, if I remember correctly. We just, we just got a shower installed, so, yeah. She's uncomfortable, yeah. She needs to, she needs to rest. She's tired. So she's gonna take a shower. <clears throat> She's got fatigue from working out. That's why I said, see, it's I, I knew it. I knew it was time to go home. Uh, then we'll have her use the restroom. Wash her hands and brush her teeth. There we go. <clears throat> After all, she's got to go to work tomorrow, okay? She's, she's very successful for being her age. You know, she graduated high school and everything. Went straight into her writing career, and uh, she's been doing really well at it. But she just she wants more, you know. Um, she did leave her old home behind, her parents, everything. She wanted to go out on her own, and she's been doing that. I mean, she's got a modest house. It's not it's not the fanciest of any means. It's not a mansion. She does want a mansion someday, so you know. <clears throat> Ultimately, she would like to uh, become a video game writer, but she figured if she got into computer science, maybe she could mess around with the robotics a little bit and maybe create an AI system. And she thought that would be really cool. So that way it can learn on its own and it can make up its own stories because she's all about the stories, you know? <clears throat> <laughs> All right, she has to go to work in 13 hours, so we've already done our, our column for today. She's already reached level 3, so within a couple days she could probably be, uh, she could probably get a raise, which would be nice, would be nice. <laughs> uh, she's gonna practice speaking her speech yeah she's gonna go to bed here soon because She didn't like her shower much. She's not a very materialistic person, though, as you can tell. She doesn't have the best furniture. She doesn't have the best place to live. But, you know, she tries her best. 
Sipoma Bamwosa. Be Niara. Yoth is far. Nibor. One, one. Barbahoy. Shusha. Karanga. Boy. Gowne. Wapanau Fwinru. Suna. Amphora. Lemtim Yanabi. Shusha Flamon. Haha. <laughs> oh. Ringo Agon <coughs> Biboma cannot. <laughs> Yikla Balafoy Fine Banfoy Ravobi. There we go. All right, get your tail to bed. You need to sleep. It's 11 p.m. You got to go to work at 10 in the morning. All right, there we go. She is now resting. Uh, we're going to have her fix uh, another... She's kind of like a, a grilled cheese and, and ramen type person. So that's... Uh, I, she. Hey, she. that's what she likes. She eats what she eats. So we're going to be eating some grilled cheese here in the morning. So we'll go ahead and have her cook um, cook a meal. So have some more grilled cheese. <laughs> There we go. Send a happy text. Uh, she's gonna. She's probably gonna go to work. Yeah. Uh, send a happy. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> she can't. Oh, poor girl. She's got to eat. Yeah, she's not happy right now. And she's got to take a shower again before she goes to work. She leveled up. Uh, let's see here. See if she can work from home today. Yeah, she just had to work from home. Cause she needs to take a shower. So we, she's had kind of a rough day, and uh, she's singed. Yeah. Go on, go take a shower. You'll feel better after that. And then eat your food. Outside. They're like, hey, let me in. Alright, so what does she have to do for work today? She's got to respond to mail and talk to food stall vendor at Spice Market. Okay. Oh, and the, the neighbors are coming to welcome her. And she just, she's all singed right now, you know? They pick the worst time. <laughs> they pick the absolutely worst time. Yeah, we'll go invite them in in a minute. Uh, invite neighbors in as well. Oh, well, not let me... Here, I'll just have her clean it up. Um, cook. Oh, she's already going to cook, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, she'll probably start cooking and then... Okay, after she, there we go, and then, after she cleans up. Alright, she invited them all in. Time to, time to clean up my mess. Friendly introduction. Friendly introduction. Ah. 
Thanks for coming. Where is he going? Oh. oh. What they bring over to eat? Kaba. Hmm. Bet that's good. Never had it before. <sighs> Let's hope she doesn't catch on fire this time. There we go. She needs to eat soon. <laughs> She's hungry. Okay. Make a friend. All right. Let's hope she doesn't burn the house, though. <laughs> Today's mail's been delivered. Thanks, mailman. Thanks for coming. Uh, ask about favorite author. You gotta ask them about their favorite author. Um, hmm. Oh, discuss latest book. There we go. I wish you can get to know how, what they think about writing. They might like reading too. I mean, you know, in, in writing. And who knows? Maybe one day they'll read one of her her books. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I gotta I forgot I need to hook that up. I haven't done that yet. There we go. Now she's eating. Good deal. Alright. Brighton Day. Um, mischief. Um, let's see here. Start a rumor. With him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ask about day. Oh, we're gonna tell her how enthusiastic we are about her, our grilled cheese. How much we love grilled cheese. I wonder if she feels the same way. Let's give her a compliment. Maybe she'll feel the same way. Oh, yeah, you need to eat. <laughs> She's going to need to go to the bathroom here soon. That's the first thing she would like to upgrade in her house is her bathroom. So it could fit a tub, a nice tub. That way she can relax. Because her, her work's still stressful, you know? And Leah's a romantic. Oh. So see? She's feeling flirty now, so. Flirt. No choices. Romance. Ask if single. Oh, that she didn't like that. <laughs> Natalie's learned that Layla is married to. Oh, oh okay. So we can't be we can't be flirty with her either, can we? All right, she's good. She ate. Snoopara, 
can buy a B box. We can't buy anything right now. She is broke. Spent every last dime she had on moving out here and, and taking care of herself. Oh, what? Well then. She's embarrassed. Awkward encounter. <laughs> yeah, don't don't sit there and throw a drink in her face. She didn't do anything. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, good. Hey, don't you be going to get kick my trash can. <laughs> Never mind, he just did. Yeah, shout for bin words at him. He needs to learn. Insult. All right. Now. We're going to argue about some politics with him. Because he just, he was rude to her. It's unpleasant conversation. Yeah, for me too. All right, how much more time do we have left? Corbeth. Oh, wow. Did you see him? Oh, he was like, I'm not hearing any of this. Like, you do whatever you want to do. That just... Wow. Alright, well, we need to go and we need to do our job. So he can just... Yeah. He's not welcome in our house anymore. He was rude. Okay. Um... We need to probably go back to use the computer at the library in Willow Creek. She just likes to travel here, you know, uh, just by herself. Okay, what does she need to do for work? Respond to mail. Let's, let's go career. Um. When? Respond to mail. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's feeling 32? I am so. She just met her and look at her. She's like already, you know, being flirty with her and everything. Uh oh. Oh, I think she went. Is she going? Oh no. Let's exchange numbers. <laughs> there we go. They just exchanged numbers. Oh, she liked that too. There we go. Oh, no. Lane. A break lent him. So Bobby. 
Huh? Probably better be careful how much we do here, because there are kids around, and that's, you know. <coughs> Alright, so did we get that done? Yeah, we did. Okay, talked. Uh, the spice market. Alright, so we gotta find out. I don't remember where the spice market is, so let's let's go on the map. She's gonna have to unfortunately leave her, but that's okay. Um, I believe it's in... Is it San? Um... Uh, that's the one. The spice market. There we go. We need to talk to a food vendor, so... I guess we'll just travel here. Hold something. Yeah, we'll... Ah, just by ourselves. For now. We gotta go talk to one of the food vendors. She's still being flirty. Alright, so here we go. Um, let's go. Uh, we just, we have to talk to him, right? Yeah, talk to a food stall. Alright, there we go. She's feeling really flirty right now, so. Oh, she's supposed to take a cold shower. Manerchi <laughs> Nosma? Oh, Havinka! Beneath clouds! There's only one open, so it's a good thing we came when we did. There we go. There we go, the other one's open now. Oh, she got paid too! Yay! View sign. All right, she got paid. She needs to have some fun here. How about shoot around? <clears throat> you know, she used to be a sporty type. That's why she's all athletic and stuff. She's in good shape. So this is Katrina, and this is Mila. And he's paranoid. <laughs> Very nice. I guess we're, we're just going to practice dribbling over here by ourselves. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. We having fun now? Yeah, she's having fun. There we go. She's really tense right now. She needs to relax. Vent to someone. Uh, will she allow us to vent to her? Uh, let's see. Complain about problems. <laughs> nice. Uh, 
propose a crazy scheme. <laughs> she does that all the time anyway, like, you know. Um. There we go. There it is. <laughs> nice. Good shot. She's not doing very good with them. Alright, so we need to. What do we need to do now? We got two days. Um, should probably go here. First of all, check application status. Yeah. Let's have her check just to see. Who's this? Uh, yeah, I was going to say I recognize her. Alright. She got an acceptance letter. She is in. Oh, she was not in for distinguished degrees, though. Uh, she can work on her skills and reapply for consideration in these degree programs. All right. Now, what about her? Yeah, she's a little upset. She wanted those. She really wanted that distinguished degree. Let's see what the applicant, her scholarships look like. <clears throat> Will she get all of her scholarships? She got a workplace and education for all, but not the Solani. Okay. All right. So let's let's go ahead and take her home. We're going to work on her programming skill, and maybe if we can level up her programming skill, she'll be accepted for one of the distinguished degrees. <clears throat> Alright. Um, I think first she'll go jogging. Yay! She can... She has a level two in workout. Yeah, she said. I can imagine. When she gets back, she'll give herself a pep talk. She's not going to stay out jogging too long. Um, that's why she's going jogging, though. Just kind of get things off her mind. She was really wanting to get one of those distinguished degrees, so therefore she's going to have to keep working at it. So I'll have to keep working at it, but it's okay. It's all right. She's taking this really hard. She really thought it would change her her life, and so. But I think once she gives herself a pep talk and 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 she really thinks about it maybe she should write about it in her journal as well i think she'll she'll think differently she'll think that this is just an opportunity she was accepted she just wasn't accepted in the programs that she wanted so she'll have to sit there and really contemplate on what she wants to do whether she wants to go now or she wants to wait a little while longer and uh work on those those degrees and stuff so it'll be uh it's one of those things where she she has to give it some thought and Figure out what she wants, because she's she wasn't accepted into one of the distinguished degrees. But it's all right. I have faith in her. Natalie's a good person. She's always been self and self reliant and independent, and taking care of herself. So 
once she once she gets the feeling you know the feelings of excitement back again I think she'll be going going towards it so it'll be okay <clears throat> she has work in two more days and we've got we've got several days before see she she just needed that walk she needed that walk all right so we need to cook something here we're She's gonna have, uh, she's gonna cook some more grilled cheese because she really does like grilled cheese and it'll make her happy. It's like her comfort food. Um, it's one of her comfort foods anyway. She does like cake as well, so she's gonna start have to start baking at some point. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, she leveled up to three. Very nice. <clears throat> Very nice. Oh, and they just left messes everywhere. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. And... Empty. <laughs> oh, she likes that girl too. You can smell it. See? She's smelling it. She's like, mm. uh, I don't think she can upgrade yet. She doesn't have any parts. <clears throat> but she'll work on all her skills. She'll get them up and then she'll reapply. I think that's the best thing for her right now. There we go. Yeah, she uh, she's up, staying up a little late tonight. <laughs> like I said, she's a really tidy person, so she cleans up on her by herself most of the time. But these other people left all this stuff here when they came to welcome her. I mean, I guess that's their welcome home gift. Oh yeah, she never picked that up. We'll go do that first, then we'll go and use the toilet. <clears throat> there we go. Empty the trash, use the restroom, brush your teeth. <laughs> then it's time for bed. You gotta get up. You gotta do some more. You gotta do some more programming. Start learning your skills. Uh, yeah, she'll take a shower in the morning. So, all right. There we go. See, but I told you guys she'd be better. She snaps back pretty quickly. So. She's still contemplating, though. Look at her. She's she's looking in the mirror. Wondering if next time. Yep. She's all confident again. That's a no lovely neck you have there. Okay. <clears throat> That's a little spooky. And that is where we're going to leave her off. That is Natalie Bishop. You guys got a first look at her. She's a writer. She loves love. She wants to be romantic with someone when she finds the right person. And 
I think when she does, she'll be happy and she'll have to get, you know, take her, her trip to university when, uh, when she can get accepted. So I think, I think she'll do just fine. That's my opinion. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of more to come. Please do hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it. Ding! So you'll know, be notified whenever I put up another Sims video. And like I said, for now it's going to be Sims. I will add other games later that are simulator. But it's primarily this is primarily a Sims channel. It'll, it's going to be Sims probably six, day a week, six days a week with the seventh day being some other simulation game or, or management game. So even if you like that style of game, you might stick around because you never know what you might find. But I appreciate you guys being here. And uh, tell your friends, tell everybody, share the video. I would appreciate it. As always, love you all, game on, and geek out. Goodbye, everybody.